Be careful in Revelation chapter 16 verse 15. Revelation 16 15. He says, Behold, I come like a thief. And blessed is he who stays awake and keeps his clothes with himself that he may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. Like a thief. A thief does not come to the house to steal everything. Oh, I get good food here, let me carry. I like this chair. This speaker I like put on my back. Also here, wow, they cooked good, good rice here, also I need. What, and carry and go. A thief comes like this. Pyah! Look, open the drawers, find gold, ship gone. Only the golden church will be stolen away. Only the golden church will be snatched away. Remember when Jesus was born, the three wise men, they brought gold and put before him. Frankincense and mir. Mir. Well, let me inform you. I did my doctorate in Israel for seven years. And I did not, don't even say amen. I did not know. Listen to me very carefully now. What I'm about to say. I did not know he wanted to call me from there. I thought it was mine. I'm going to study for me. For me. You know the way we are selfish. But listen to this. What I found out is that he took me there also to study some things. That he wanted me to teach. I found out that Bitter mir actually is a plant which has some little antibiotic, no, not really little, some you call it residue of pharmaceutical value, antibiotic activity. So in the old and in the ancient Palestine, they used to use it for cleaning wounds. It killed bacteria. And it's bitter when you touch bitter amargura, bitter amarga. They put it before baby Jesus. In other words, they said, your life on the earth is going to be as pure as this gold. As purified as this gold. But that purified life will bring you bitterness on the earth. No man will love you because you testify on the sins of men. But then. In that bitterness. You will emit a fragrance. Unto the throne of the father. And the father will atone. For the sins of all men. That's why you see. Nicodemus appears in John 19 again. To finish John chapter 3 verse 3. The first conversation Nicodemus had with Jesus. John chapter 19 verse 38 Nicodemus appears with bitter meat and sweet smelling alloy remove the destroyed body of Christ and pour that your bitter life your bitter life here your persecution here has brought progress unto the Father now listen precious people it's very important you understand this God is asking for purity in the church that you may, listen my daughters and my sons, it is beautiful to live for Christ. Listen pastors, it is beautiful to preach the gospel of holiness. When I started in Kenya, nobody believed. But now it is such a mighty thing. And I told them, I said, God will not humiliate you. I told them, he will still help you. He is not after humiliating you. All he wants is that you seek first the kingdom of God and preach the blood of Jesus period. Everything else leave it to him. Stop the prosperity nonsense that you see coming from the west. We now know the best revival is the holiness revival because it brings to the kingdom of God. I don't have time precious people. But you see in John chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 
John, Jesus said, I go to the Father to prepare a room for you. Those are the rooms Isaiah saw people entering and shutting for a little while, seven years, and then he comes back with the rapture church. We don't have time to go through that. You know these things. If you don't read Revelation 19, the white horse begins from verse 11. The white horse he showed me above. Read these things, Revelation 19 at home. But precious people, when God sent Moses to Goshen to speak to the house of Jacob about the midnight hour, he told Moses, tell the house of Jacob that when the midnight hour is about one minute to midnight, nothing else will matter to Jehovah. Nothing else will matter to the Lord when the midnight hour is near. Except that they find a lamb without defect. If I were you reading Gen uh, 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 Exodus 12. That's Exodus 12. Read it at home. If I were you and I meet without defect, I underline it. That if you find a lamb without defect and sacrifice and nothing else matters at the midnight hour except that you take the blood of the lamb without defect and sprinkle on the door. That when the midnight hour comes and the Messiah sees and Jehovah sees the blood of the lamb, the lamb of God, he will snatch you. Which means the Lord has sent you to ask this church, are you really covered by the blood? The way I look at you, Because if you're covered by the blood, the blood has power to transform a sinner into a child of God. Someone in the world to be the child of light. The blood. Pastors, don't cover the church with prosperity. Please cover them with the blood of Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 29. John saw him coming and he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Jesus is the perfect Passover Lamb that Jehovah gave to the church. So please make sure that now it is time to prick the blood. Only the blood has power. Prosperity, those things God knows you need them. But if they are going to deflect you, to waft you, to drift you away, then they are not from the Lord. Pastors, if there is any prosperity you are going to preach that is going to move the church away from loving Christ, from holiness, that is not from God. It's obvious today, you know that right now. The truth has been revealed. But, well, I want to finish with these two. When we were in France, in Paris, after a big meeting to bring this message there, the pastors there asked, they said, we heard the Lord has spoken with you about the coming of the Messiah. Please come and tell us also. We need to prepare. So, faithfully, I went. But on the 11th of May, after we had finished, we were, I was leaving the country. That night, the Lord spoke with me again about the coming of the Messiah. Let me quickly say this. I was walking in a vision, and there was a lot of light from above. I could see the rocks and everything, so I was walking there and avoiding them. And then, a voice spoke from above and said, Look and see what has fallen at your feet. But instead of looking at what had fallen to at my feet, because of the tremendous shock from the voice in that vision, I instead looked up. And when I attempted to look up, there was so much light from heaven. But I also saw something. Like a piece of paper, small like this. 
And it was coming like a kite on the air like that. On, on the air. It was flying. And it came and fell on my right foot. And when I picked it in that vision, I realized it was a hand written not. A note written by hand. By blue pen ink. Three times. And the first time said, in that vision I'm reading it. It said, I am coming. The second said, I am coming. The third said, I am coming, says the Lord down there. Now, when I woke up, looked at my clock, it was 2.50 in the morning. So I went straight to, the, of course the message is clear, but I went to the Bible still. And every time, the Lord said, I am coming. He left a message. Let me begin with Revelation 22, the last book of the, the last chapter of the last book in the Bible. Revelation 22 verse 7. It says, Behold, I am coming. And blessed is he who keeps the words of prophecy of this book. So my question to you, the church of Christ in Namibia, have you really kept the words of prophecy of this book have you really kept the words of prophecy of this book because the words of prophecy of this book reveal a holy God and they say you are the children of God that means you too need to be holy you are the children of light that means you too need to walk in light if you look at Romans chapter 11, I think chapter 13 verse 11, I, I wanna, let me get it for you. It says, Behold, your salvation has drawn nearer than when you first believed and the night is nearly over. Hallelujah. The night is nearly over. And you should dress in the deeds of light because you are the children of light. Chapter 13, verse 11 on, right? Yeah, there you go. It says, and do this understanding the present time. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation has drawn nearer than when we first believed. The night is nearly over and the day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in orgies, drunkardness, not in sexual immorality, in debauchery, not in dissension, in jealousy, rather clothe yourselves with Christ Jesus. What is Christ Jesus? What does it mean to clothe yourself with Christ Jesus? It means to cover yourself with the blood. The blood is the only thing you left out with. Through the blood you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Only through the cross did the Father release the Holy Spirit. Precious people. And then also Revelation 22 verse 12. He says, Behold, I'm coming. My reward is my hand. I give each one according to what they have done. Which means he's talking about the white throne judgment. The judgment seat of Christ. That means even the raptured church must present herself before the white throne of judgment. To account for everything she ever did, everything she ever said, everything she ever contemplated, skimmed in the heart. That's why Paul says, let us run like a race and achieve the first prize. Please, don't take your salvation for granted. If you don't enter the kingdom of God, Jesus will be laughed at. In Spanish, they say, vergüenza. Vergüenza, vergüenza. He will be ashamed. The enemy laughed when he was on the cross to purchase you. But when you fail to enter, the enemy will laugh again. I want to finish. There's no time. Read in the Bible. The, the Lord says, He is coming. And the message He has been sending me with is very consistent to this church. That the Lord is coming and soon. That's why I prophesy these days. In fact, now, I'm prophesying a judgment coming to China, by the way. 
There is a horrific judgment coming to China. I see big horses. The brown horses, they are running. And one of them is just, the Lord is using that in the dream, in this, in this vision rather. He's using it to demonstrate the power of the horse. Because one of them knocks a caterpillar and it collapses. It collapses. It, 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 it rather uh, uh, overturns. I see a lot of horses. And I see, he took me already in China in the spirit I was there. And there was a lot of tempest and commotion. And normally in a short time, you will see it there. Soon you see it in your news. I see tremendous floods coming to the Caribbean here. The Dominican Republic where I'm heading to. And I see horrific floods. And then I see a bleeding disease because I think there is some disease in the water as they are struggling. There is some disease. So they are bleeding from their beings. There's a lot of bleeding and there are a lot of people in the, in, in the, a lot of people in the clinics. A lot of people are bleeding. I see these things. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming, says the Lord. Let those who have ears Real quick, I don't have time. If you know that your life is not right with the Lord, it is time to run to the altar. I don't know about tomorrow. But if you know that your life is not right with the Lord, I have two minutes, I will step out in running and go wash my hands. Again, if you know that your life is not right with the Lord, please run to the Lord. Tomorrow, I don't know. But today, I know. If you know that your life is not right with the Lord, these are the intelligent ones. Only those who can repent and enter. It is free to enter. But the Bible says that when the foolish virgins return, Make sure you give them way. Give them way to pass across. Give them way. Move even closer. Closer for them to have room, precious people. Move closer. There's a lot of people behind you, so move a little closer. Much, much closer. The Bible says that when the foolish virgins return, somebody this somebody. They knocked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's alright now. When the foolish virgins returned, they knocked and they said, Sir, Sir, open for us. And what did the Lord say? To tell you the truth. I don't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't touch it, my, my, my daughter. The Lord said, To tell you the truth, I don't know you. But listen to this. He said, In Matthew 24, verse 36. Like it was during the time of Noah. So will it be at the coming of the Messiah. The time of Noah. There was wickedness. The time of Noah. Nobody liked holiness. The time of Noah. Nobody feared God. The time of Noah. They were preaching about their wives and husbands. Time of Noah. They were preaching about their cars and homes. Time of Noah. Only a few entered. And Genesis chapter 7 verse 16 says, And the animals going in were male and female, as the Lord had commanded Noah. After that, and the Lord shut the door. In Spanish they say, El Señor, la puerta. And the Lord shut the door. Not Noah. The Lord. 
But we know that when Jesus talked of the rapture, in Matthew 25, verse 10 and 11, after the wise virgins entered, and the Lord shut the door, and the Lord shut the door, it's not a healing service here, but put them wherever. Put him here over there. It's not a healing service though. But the Lord shut the door. Today, the door is still open. Gracious people. Today. Okay, leave her now. Somebody carry properly. Carry properly. Hallelujah. But listen. Today, the door is not yet shut. So you can enter. Lift up your hands and repeat this prayer. The person who is translating in, in uh, Portuguese, come right forward here and take a microphone. We are going to repeat in two languages. Very slowly, give him way slowly. Somebody activate one microphone for him. That these people may return to Jesus. Hallelujah. So you repeat in Portuguese, you say? Or Spanish? Portuguese. You repeat after me, so they repeat in English. You repeat in Portuguese, they repeat in Portuguese, okay? After they have said, we are doing it twice, okay? Face this way, my son. Time is coming. No, 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 no. Time is coming to you. When people will dress well before the Lord. Okay? Don't worry. This is the day for opening the door. Everybody lift up your hands and close your eyes. Those who have come. And repeat this prayer of salvation. In which you are going to repent. And ask the Lord. To remember you. On the day of rapture. So when I repeat, you wait until they have repeated, then you repeat to the others, okay? Okay, close your eyes. Everybody repeat in English. Say, Mighty Jesus! Mighty Jesus. I repent today. I repent today. Of all sin. De todos os pecados. I have abused the blood of Jesus. But today, I am returning home. Cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. I receive you now. Eu recebo tu agora. As my Lord. Meu Senhor. And Savior. E Salvador. And I reject sin. Eu rejeito o pecado. Transform my life. Transform my life. And lead me into holiness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am born again. I am born again. Let me pray for you. Everybody lift up your hands and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, they, some of them have renewed their salvation. And some of them have received Jesus for the first time. Lord, now you can clean up immorality from this church. And cover this church with the blood of Jesus. And bring revival into this church. 
and establish your word into their hearts in the name of Jesus. Everybody here, lift up your hands and close your eyes. Now you can receive the Holy Spirit over there. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive your liberty. Receive your liberty. Whosoever the Son shall set free shall be free indeed. Whosoever the Son shall set free shall be free indeed. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit of life has set us free from the law of sin and death. Receive your liberty. Since you called upon the name of the Lord, the Bible says, We shall come to pass that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. We are, you are saved from the flesh. You are saved from lust. You are saved from serving mammon. You are saved from the works of the flesh. You are saved from selfishness. You are saved from greed. You are saved from everything that is of the flesh you are free you are free you are free you are free thank god for your liberty you are not going back to your vomit you are go not going back to the old life no more hypocrisy no more double life a holy church unto jesus are making an impact in the world changing namibia for jesus the holiness of jesus Hallelujah! Celebrate what God has done in you. There is joy in heaven over the return of a sinner. There is joy in heaven. Rejoice! Your names are written in the book of life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Everybody shout, Namibia shall be saved. Shout again, Namibia shall be saved. Congratulate your neighbor. Tell him or her, I see a new person in you. I see a woman that loves God. You will not sell your body like a pig. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your money is for God, not for the devil. Worship God right now. Hallelujah.